Hello and welcome to an overview of how vCenter Configuration Manager 5.7, part of the vC Operations Management Suite, can be used to ensure compliance of your vSphere environment. To begin, let's log in to the vCenter Configuration Manager 5.7 user interface. We're going to go ahead and now take a look at the existing data that we have around our virtual environment from a hardening and compliance perspective. Here we have the vCenter Configuration Manager console, and if we expand the dashboard node, we'll see that we have the virtual environments node here that we can go in and take a look at a different number of aspects of our virtual environment. We can look at change management data, compliance posture, our overall compliance posture, but also a guest and host summary, as well as the vCenter summary. So let's take a look at a number of these, but then we'll also jump in a little bit later into the compliance slider, and we'll give us a little more detail around that as well. Now let's start by taking a look at the guest summary. Let's click on the guest summary here, and the vCenter Configuration Manager will come back with some of the information around the guests in our vCenter environment and give us some information about the compliance of these workloads. So as we see here, we can see the guest compliance summary from our virtual environment. Now as we take a look at this, we can see the number of virtual machines, the number of hosts, the number of vCenters, but it also gives us a very quick dashboard in terms of compliance and how we're doing, and the number of conditions that are passing and the ones that are not compliant as well. Now it also allows us to drill down deeper and get additional information about our virtual environment. For example, we can see the current tools version that we have, Remember, all of these are links, by the way, so that we can actually drill down into each of these and get additional detail around them. But we can also go in and get details around the different operating systems of our guests as well. So this is a quick summary of the guests in our environment. Now, one thing to point out here is that at any point in time, we can export this data just by clicking the Export button here or the Export button up here as well. And we're able to export that data in several different formats. If we want that in more detail, we always have the ability to pull in any of the information that we see out of the reporting slider down here on the bottom left. Now let's take a look at some of our host summaries. Again, this will come back with the host summary information, very valuable data as we see here. We can see how many hosts we have currently in maintenance mode, and in our case that number is zero. How many hosts currently need reboots? For us right now, none of them do. How many hosts have vMotion enabled? And in our case, both of the hosts that we're looking at in this environment do, in fact, have vMotion enabled. So again, you can see some additional information here. And if we drag the slider down, we'll be able to get additional information around the host profiles. No host profiles are currently attached to these hosts, but we can get some hardening compliance information or how these hosts are doing against the vSphere hardening guidelines. Again, we can see where we have a number of conditions that are, in fact, compliant, as well as the non-compliant conditions. Remember, each of these are links, so we can go in and get additional detail around each of them if we want to. And lastly, we can see the different host versions that we have and the number of those hosts. So now let's take a quick look at the vCenter server summary. So here we can go in and see the posture of our vCenter servers within our environment. And in our environment here, we currently have just one vCenter server. So as we return to the vCenter summary dashboard here, we can see our vCenter server, and we can see very quickly DRS is in fact enabled. We can see the automation level is set here to fully automated. And again, this information, these pie charts, and the numbers are here are all linked, so we can go in and get additional data if we want to. So this is a nice dashboard in terms of the hardening compliance for our vCenter server. Here we can see how many, what is our compliance level or our compliance posture for our server, and we have some conditions here that are compliant, some conditions that are not, and once again, we can drill into those details as needed. Now, let's look at how we can do some high-level remediation around our virtual environment. In a separate video, we've highlighted how we connect to our virtual environment so that we can start pulling in data, compliance, and change information. So if we expand the virtual environments here, we expand our vCenter server, we can go into our hosts. So let's take a look quickly at the advanced configuration, for example, and we'll see what options we have in here. Let's look at the advanced settings, which will bring up a number of different settings for our vSphere environment. Now let's look at how we can actually do remediation against our hosts. One of the settings we have for our hosts is the annotations welcome message. And again, this is a very simple setting, but we can actually take this setting and filter on it. And so we can simply drag the column name up here and expand this so we can see that we have these two hosts that have that particular setting. 
But now we can right click on this context sensitive menu and simply select the change setting from up here. And that will allow us to go in and actually make changes to this. So here we have the two ESX hosts selected that we don't actually need to drag any down. We can see the different settings that are available and we can actually remediate any of these settings that we like. In this case, let's just make a simple change around the welcome message here. We'll select that and bring that down to the bottom. Now that we have that one item selected, we can go in here to the next screen in our environment. And if we have a number of different welcome messages that we had captured from other hosts, for example, we can click on the ellipsis here and we could simply select them. In our case, we don't have any of those now, so we'll just type in a message. So let's say, welcome to ESX5 and click Next. Here we can select run this action now or schedule this action to run later. In our environment, we don't really want to run something immediately, so we'll schedule this for a specific time frame. Let's say the specific date at 4 a.m. To do that, we just click Next and it will be a scheduled action or remediation activity that will take place at that date and time. Next, let's actually jump into the compliance of our vSphere environment. And let's select the compliance badge so that we can see our virtual environment compliance. We'll open up that node and then open up our template node here. So these are the different compliance templates that we can execute against our virtual environment. Let's look at an example that says that our environment needs to be PCI and DSS compliant. So we'll select that node and it will come back with the results here on the right hand side. Now we can just dig down into this section of the screen where we can see that we just ran this and evaluated 706 conditions. As we drill down, we can get a very quick overall compliance posture for PCI DSS. Here we see that 32% of our conditions are in fact compliant, but 68% are not. Again, we can drill down deeper and get additional information around this. Where is the information coming from? Is it around our vCenter port group? Is this around our virtual machines? And we can continue to dig deeper and deeper here as well. So let's look at the results of the vSphere 5.0 hardening report. We can see that we've just evaluated 860 conditions. And again, we can see our compliance posture very quickly over here. We can see our overall compliance posture. We can see that 27% of the conditions are in fact compliant and 73% are not compliant. Again, these are links so we can go in and get additional detail. Now, we can dig deeper and see where the information is coming from. Is it around our vCenter servers, our hosts, our port groups, our virtual machines? Where do we have conditions that are passing and where do we have conditions that are failing in red? This helps us make sure that we can actually achieve compliance in our environment, whether it's a vCenter hardening, PCI, or any other type of compliance, in addition to our own organization's best practices. So let's drill down now and get additional information about this, again by following the link so that we can see where we're not compliant and where we can begin to take steps to address compliance in these particular conditions. Now one thing I'd like to note at this point is that while we're just showing you how to go in and achieve certain types of compliance, again, whether it's PCI or vSphere hardening, you can automate this. The nice thing about these compliance jobs is that we have the ability to go ahead and automate and schedule these templates. So let's go ahead and show a quick example of that. Let's select the administration slider down at the bottom, and we can see the job manager here. And when we select the schedules node, we can see that we do in fact have some compliance jobs currently scheduled. Let me show you how we can automate some of these compliance checking against our virtual environment. So let's go into the administrator slider and under the job manager node and then under the scheduler node. We can see a number of jobs that are currently scheduled here. But in this case, let's do a compliance job that just checks our virtual environment and make sure that it is vSphere hardened. Let's call this vSphere hardening and we'll click next. We scroll down to the vSphere hardening template. and we'll click Next. At this point, it actually gives us the entire virtual objects group as built inside of VCM. And so now we can look at all of the virtual object machines or everything in this entire hierarchy that is related to our virtual environment. Let's go ahead and check for hardening against that. Let's select Next, and then we can go in and specify how often we want this check to take place. So in our case, I'd really like this to happen every day. It'd be nice for it to happen at 4 a.m., and we can see here that we have to specify a start date, and then we can simply click Finish. And now we can see that the job is currently scheduled to run. If we'd like, we can go in here and click on Run Now and have it run immediately. 
or we could also enable and disable any of these other jobs that we wish. Now, this allows us to make sure that these vSphere hardening compliance jobs are running on a regular basis so that we can easily see the results. Now, one more thing we can do here is to simply follow that up with a report as well. We can perform the compliance hardening job, generate a report, and have it immediately sent to the appropriate individuals in our organization that need to make sure that our vCenter environment is hardened. So to recap, we've seen how vCenter Configuration Manager allows us to quickly and easily ensure the compliance of a vSphere environment. For more information about vCenter Configuration Manager or the vCenter Operations Management Suite, please visit VMware.com. Thank you.